Hi, I'm Lisa, and welcome to this short tutorial on how to share your Google form with participants in a class so that you can get them to answer the form. So when you have your Google form and it looks like this, and this tutorial isn't going to cover how to create a Google form, it's how to share one that you already have with some simple tips. So if you don't know how to create a Google form, that's a different tutorial. What we're looking at now is we have one created and we want to share it. Up here in the upper right, you'll see this button that says send. When you click on that, that is going to enable you to share with the Im embedded and inbuilt ways that Google already has, which include email, a link, or embedding HTML that you would do if you had your own website. You can also choose to share through Google+, Facebook, or Twitter. Now, email is great if you already know the email addresses of everybody who is going to be participating. And if you know that in the moment that you want them to participate, they will have access to that email. You also, though, run the risk here that when you do send it out with email, if you're sending it out to a number of email addresses, that you'll be perceived as spam. And it's kind of weird that even Google will see itself, see Google as spam, but that does happen. So my favorite way is to create a link. But if you'll notice, this link is really, really long. In fact, it's so long that I can't even get to the end of it. So what I'm going to do is one of two things. You can shorten the URL, but notice that if you click shorten, it's really not that short. That's still really quite long. So what I typically do is I will press control C, it actually will depend on your operating system, but I'm gonna copy this text. So, and it will tell you, right, if you hover over it, Google will tell you what to do to copy it. I'm gonna click control C. Then I'm gonna to navigate to a website called Bitly. And at Bitly, which is available at bitly, B-I-T-L-Y dot com, or B-I-T dot L-Y, either one will take you there. I'll come here and create a bit.ly link. I just create link. Now, then I, I paste it in and click create. It will shorten it much shorter than Google would. Now, if you have a free account with bit.ly, which I strongly recommend that you create a free account, if you create a free account, then it will allow you to customize this. So I can do this. Um, I can do whatever I want to this link, as long as somebody else isn't using it, because the same link can't direct to two different places. But let's say I want to say this as practice link. And now I click enter and now, oh, it says that's already taken. This is the message that you see if that link is taken. Then I would say um, sharing form two. Okay, that is okay. These words make sense, so it's a lot easier for the brain to remember it and to type it in. Because even though it's not that short, sharing form two with hyphens is still a fairly long URL. The fact that it's words that make sense to people is going to make it much easier. Now, I can go in and actually edit it if I decide later that I, d I don't want that one. I'm going to do demo, demo link one. And now the link is changed to that. So you can go back and change it later if you want. Now I'm going to copy that link and I can either email that out or I can, if I'm working in, um, in a, like a training class or a classroom, I can just show that link to anybody who would need to see it, either putting it on PowerPoint or smart board or even just writing it on a whiteboard or including it in some kind of handout. So however I want to share the link with people, I can do it that way. And this link is a lot easier for people to navigate to than a big long link. So let's go and see what that looks like. That looks like this. I put in that link, I paste it, and voila, it takes me right to my Google form. So that's the way that I share links to Google forms so that people can navigate to it easily because they're definitely not going to be able to get to this big long link or even the link that Google has.